Good morning, good morning, good morning. Richard Morris here with you again. I did a video on the issues I have with the black Israelites. So um, they begin to ask me about Deuteronomy chapter um, seven, I believe. Um, what does these verse um, saying verses in Acts, verses in Amos, but I'm going to start with Deuteronomy chapter 7 and answer um, the question they've been asking. They've been asking me, what does this, um, what these verses say? And um, these verses actually, that they're asking by saying that God chose one nation um, to follow him, and that's Israel. And basically, God rejected all the other nations. And um, so when it comes to white people, um, God rejected them. When it comes to certain Africans who have sold other blacks into slavery, God reject them too. God chose Israel and Israel only. So now let us begin to debunk um, those views. Actually, those views are very easy to debunk because one of the issues, don't get me wrong, black Israelites are smart. I love them. I love to talk with them. 90% um, of the stuff they say, I believe, but when it comes to who Christ is, Jesus' name, rejecting other nations, I don't agree with those things. But let us debunk those views. So in Deuteronomy chapter 7, we start with verse 1 through 8. We're not going to go through the verse, but we're just going to quickly give um, a synopsis of what that what they are saying again they are saying that god rejected the other nations and chose israel as a nation and and that's the only nation that god is actually with now there's some truth to israel being a chosen nation but before we get there we have to understand the purpose to to really understand this view and to debunk that view, we must understand the purpose of Abraham, the purpose of Israel, the purpose of Jesus, and the purpose of the Christians. Once we understand the purpose of Abraham, the purpose of Israel, the purpose of Jesus, the purpose of Christians, all those verses regarding God rejecting other nation and Israel is the only true nation. Some believe that Israel is the only nation that gonna be saved. Other nations gonna serve um, Israel. Now, once you understand those, the purpose of those um, things, Abraham, Israel, Jesus, and Christians, <clears throat> everything about the black Israelite as debunk and easily to be proven wrong because this is an issue that I have with people. They don't take the entire um, counsel of God, the entire word of God. They pick verses to fit their view and that's a bad way to approach the word of God. You can't just come out and pick what you like. So if I feel as though I want to prove that fornication and sex out of marriage is correct, I'm going to pick verses um, that match what I view. If I feel as though drinking and getting drunk is, um, is okay with God and this is something I like to do, let me find verses that... Um, that fit my rhetoric, fit what I believe. So uh, we don't want to approach God's word like that because you could take anything and force it to fit your view. We want to see clearly what the word of God is saying. Now, 
God called Abraham. We see that in Genesis chapter 12. Now, Abraham wasn't Jewish. Abraham didn't belong to Israel when he was called. Abraham was a Gentile, a non-Jew. So God called him from a pagan nation because a Gentile doesn't mean non-Jewish. The Jewish people didn't exist yet. Of course, the Jewish people or Israel was in the mind of God. But here God going to use Abraham to bring forth the Jewish people, to bring forth Israel. So now, here in Genesis chapter 12, God called Israel. I mean, called Abraham for his purpose. And again, the purpose is to bring forth the Jewish people. So now, Abraham is called so the purpose now of Abraham is to bring forth the Jewish people. The purpose of, or to bring forth Israel, same thing. Or to, uh, no, the purpose of Abraham is to bring forth Israel. The purpose of Israel now is to reach the other nations. To bring the other nations to God. And to show it forth to the other nation who the true God is. Let us look at Isaiah um, chapter 49 verse, um, verse 6. It clearly states that. It says here. Now he said, <clears throat> if you look at. Isaiah 49, from about here, Jesus is speaking. Now, some may say, no, that's Isaiah. Um, this is prophetic. Jesus here is speaking in Isaiah 49. Um, but let's just jump to verse 6. Verse 6 said, now we getting ready to debunk the view that God reject all the other nations and only choose Israel. Now again, I know I repeat myself a lot. The purpose of Israel is to um, be a light to the Gentiles, to the non-Jews, to bring them in to the flock of God. That's why God called Abraham to start that process. So now verse six of um, Isaiah 49 says, he says, it is too small a thing for you to be my servant to restore the tribes of Jacob and to bring back those of Israel I have kept. Now look at this. I will also make you a light for the Gentiles that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. I will also make you a light for the Gentiles that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. It doesn't get any clearer than that. If God rejected the other nation, especially white people, why would God create a whole nation to be a light to the Gentiles that they may experience salvation? You see, that's the issue we have. That's why sometimes I don't get in debates with ignorant people because they're blind to these. They pick out one one verses to build an entire um teaching on and you can't do that you got to take the old scripture for what it says god is god god love us so much god love his creation um who was created in his image human being so much that he created an entire nation to be a light to those of the nation that they may experience God's salvation. Not only that, 
we go to the New Testament where Jesus said, um, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him will not perish that, but have everlasting life. So we even see it right here that God so loved the world that he gave Jesus just like how he gave Israel. Um, he, he created Israel to reach the other Gentile nations. So here, the purpose of Abraham is, is, is to um, bring forth Israel. The purpose of Israel is to reach the other nation and something else. That the Messiah should come from, who is Jesus, to die for the world um, sins. So it, Abraham, the purpose of him is to bring forth Israel. The purpose of Israel is to reach the other nation according to Isaiah um, verse 49, verse 6. And there's a lot of those verses. I'm just picking one. Now, to reach the other nation and that Jesus, the Messiah, should come through that line. And Jesus will die for the whole world and birth the Christians who are going to do the same thing Israel um, was created to do. It's to reach the world. The Bible said, I sent you forth as sheep among wolves. Be harmless as a um, dove and be wise as a serpent. The Bible said in Matthew 28, go ye therefore teach all nations. That's the purpose of the Christian now, to be a light. The Bible said, um, so let your light shine before man that they may see God in you. That was the same purpose for Israel. So when you say God rejected the other nations, especially white people, and they should serve us, that's foolishness. Because the scripture doesn't teach that. It teaches the total opposite. That God um, created Israel to be a light to other nations. And this is just the beginning. So I, actually I meant this video to be two minutes long, but it ended up to be 13 minutes long. Um you know people don't like to watch long things <laughs> you know but i hope this answer the very first verse the very first set of verse that was sent to me by the black israelites and um more to come more to come